everybody and welcome today we are going to begin the assignment i like your photography so first things first let's go and click my document here it should look something like this so for slide one be sure that you put your name where it says your name here so i know uh, whose presentation i'm grading and then slide number two is your directions now First things first, right at the top, let's download the list of 100 influential attached by clicking here. So once we click, it's then gonna bring up this sort of drop down, and then we can click here. Now, it's important that once we get here that we don't just look through the list like this, we want to download. So we'll go up to the right here and click download. Once this downloads to the bottom of your Chrome window here, we'll drag that over to our desktop so then that way we have easy access to that now once you finish this assignment you want to add this to your photography folder in your google drive if you don't have one that's okay just add a photography folder in your multimedia management uh, google folder now that we have this downloaded and on our desktop let's keep reading through our instructions on our presentation so the aim for today is to become familiar with a variety of contemporary photographers and their work Please make sure that the artwork you are selecting is contemporary, made after 1945, and that uh, it is a work of artistic photography. To complete this project, browse the suggested or photographers listed in the downloaded packet at the top of this slide. You will use this presentation to make a collection of images and writings about them. You will be finding the following four images. Now, a big part of this assignment is to find out what photography you like and what photography you don't like. Now, in order to do that, you have to spend time looking at photographs. Now, once you get that download, you're going to be looking for a photographic work of art that you like and you think that is good. You're going to try and find a photographic of a uh, photographic work of art that you like, but you don't think other people think is very good. You're going to be finding a photographic work of art that you don't like at all, but you must admit that it's pretty darn good. And number four, you're going to find a photographic work of art that you don't like and you don't think that anybody thinks that it is good. Now, this project's aimed to find out what kind of photographic work you're uh, drawn to and what criteria you hold in your mind that determines what it is uh, and what it, uh, it isn't that makes a good artwork or a good photograph. Uh, we're going to be taking our own photographs in this course, so it's important to see some images and know what we don't want our pictures to look like, uh, but we also want to know who those really great photographers are that we like, so then we can try and make our photographs look more like theirs. Now, what you're going to do is please be sure that you write down the artist, the title, the year of the artwork below. I've already gotten that together for you. Now, once you finish, be sure that you put this in your um, Google folder. Uh, if you can't find all of the information, uh, choose a different photograph and keep looking. Now, if we go on to the following slides, you'll see that I have a presentation slide for each of those categories. So we have a photographic work of art that you like and think is good. Uh, once you find that photographer in that photograph, you're going to take a screenshot and add that photo here. You're then going to add the artist, the title of the photograph, and the year that it was taken here. And then right down here is one of the most important parts. Uh, why do you like it and why do you think it's good? And so I'm looking for four to five sentences. So I'm looking essentially for a small paragraph about why you like it and why you think it's good. The following slides are the exact same, but for the other criteria. So you're looking for a photograph, photographic work of art that you like, but don't think is very good. And again, you're doing the same thing, four to five sentences, the artist's name, the title, and the year. So once you finish all of those, um, then you are good to go to submit. This should not be something that you um, finish really quickly. You have an entire block bell to complete this assignment. It should take you the entire block bell to be looking through those different photographers, doing some exploration on who they are, what they're about. Uh, and if you don't like them, then move on to the next one. Be sure you're going slow. You shouldn't be in a hurry. Again, the whole point of this assignment is to expose you to different photography and to understand kind of what you think makes a good and a bad photograph.